Hello, good evening. How are you? Yeah, yeah, no, Hello, good evening. Uh, bye, teacher. Hi, how are you? Do. Okay, I'm glad to hear you again. I'm glad to see you again, mm -hmm. okay? Thank you for being here uh, for the class. We're about to start. Ya vamos a comenzar. Solo déjenme ver unas cosas aquí. Okay, have you been practicing your English recently or not? Have you been watching movies or series? Um, no. No. Um, no, only um, some, some post on Facebook on English. Okay, but very good. I, I was... I was have a very busy a very busy day. Yes. Okay, you had a lot of job. Yes, yes, you're kind of tired. Yeah. Okay, no problem. But we are about to start the class, so no worries about that. Let's see who is here. Jose Arturo, Rosa Esmeralda, Noe Vasquez, good evening. Sandra Cecilia. Okay, Sandra Cecilia, no problem. No problem. Catherine Bolaños, Jaime Hernandez. And yes, we are just uh, seven right now. We're going to wait a little bit and we are going to review a little bit of the participles as adjectives, okay? Did you do the homework? What was the homework about? ¿De qué era la tarea que teníamos? What was the homework about? Um, invest. I have an investigation. Mm -hmm. Adjectives. Adjectives. Three exactly. Adjectives. Five, five adjectives. News. Yes, three or five. If you uh, investigated three of them, that's okay. If you investigated five, it's okay. Or three, that's okay. No problem. But they have to be new, right? Something that you didn't know for you to increase the, um, the vocabulary. So that's important. We are going to increase our vocabulary about movies because at the end, I will ask you to, uh, to talk about movies. And also I will ask you to create your own review of a movie, right? What do you, what is your opinion if you recommend a movie or not? So that would be like a little presentation that you will have at the end, right at the end of the class, pro probably on Thursday. So we are going to do that. Uh, el jueves tal vez vamos a tener algunas presentaciones. Así que hoy vamos a revisar nada más vocabulario. Vamos a, a revisar el vocabulario de, de las películas, okay? So we are going to start, let me see here. I'm going to write all of the uh, all of the adjectives that you investigated and we are going to write it down and then we're going to share it so all of you will have this information. Let me see here. I will share the screen right now. Okay, now who wants to begin with the adjectives? Who investigated the adjectives? A volunteer, please. Voluntario. For example, teacher. Uh -huh. Wood. Wood. Or good. 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 Okay, yes. perfect. So that's the adjective that you investigated. What, what other adjective do you have, Jaime? Uh, uh, good. Tall. Tall. Uh-huh. Height. And high, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So good, tall, and high. What is the meaning of high, Jaime? Uh, alto. Alto, right? But tall is for people and high is for objects, right? Very good. Perfect. What else do we have? Another person who wants to share their adjectives? iPhone. Uh, uh... Fat. Fat, very good. What else? Uh, 
Only fat? Short. Short. Uh huh. What else? Mm. That's it. That's it. Sí. Okay. Who else? Uh, Me, coach. Okay. What did you investigate? Wicked. Wicked. Uh huh. It is like devil. Okay. What is the meaning of wicked? Devil. Devil. So no, it's, devil. So it's weak. Weak. Uh huh. Weak. Uh huh. Empty. Empty. What is the meaning of empty? It's like uh, full. The opposite of full. Yes. Uh, and sick. Sick. Okay, very good. Sick, right? When you're sick, when you feel bad of your beautiful. stomach or your head. Okay, very good. Perfect. We have beautiful also. Beautiful. What else? What else do we have? Um, very. Sorry? Devil. Devil. How do you say devil in English? <laughs> Weak. Weak, exactly. What else? Another adjective? Otro adjetivo? Boring. Boring. Yeah. Boring. What is the meaning of boring? Okay. Aburrido, right? Aburrido. What else? What else do we have? Fascinating. Sorry? Fascinating. Fascinating. Can you Fascinating, fascinating, you see? <laughs> That's the importance of pronunciation. Fascinating, very good. Fascinante, fascinating. And what else? Huffy. Sorry? Huffy. What is huffy? What is the meaning of huffy? Uh, it's like uh, angry, angry, but less. And how do you how do you spell coffee? How do you spell it? H U F F uh, How do you say Y? Y, exactly. Y Y. Why? Huffy. I, I haven't I haven't heard that adjective before. That's good. Because that's the purpose to get more vocabulary. Huffy enfadado, right? Like angry. Okay, very good. What else do we have? Do you do you have any other adjective that you have investigated? Any other? Algun otro adjetivo? Terrified. Sorry? Terrified. Yes. Terrified. Very good. Very good. Terrified. We have terrified and terrifying, right? Terrifying. So what is the, the difference? Terrified and terrifying. What is the diferencia? Terrified, I am terrified, or it is terrifying. What do you think is the difference? Terrified is in past. Yes, and terrifying? Active. <laughs> <laughs> very good guess, very good guess. The difference is one is a past participle and another one is a present participle. Both are adjectives. Los dos se pueden utilizar como adjetivos, okay? So that's what we are going to study today. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other any other adjective or that's it? Algún otro adjetivo? Dangerous teacher. I, I got talking. Dangerous, uh-huh. Dangerous. What else? Expensive. Yes. Expensive. Nasty. Nasty. Talking, amused, amused, mm -hmm. charming. charming, exactly, charming, right? What is the meaning of charming? What it's like to encantadora, encantadora, encantador, very good, like Prince Charming, right? In fairy tales, cheerful, class. cheerful, very good, cheerful. What is Original. the meaning of what is the meaning of cheerful? Uh, light to happy, alegre. 
alegre, like happy synonym, right? Cheerful, you're very cheerful, you're very happy. Original, right? Mm -hmm. Original. Yeah. What else, that's it? Outstanding. Hulking. Hulking. Outstanding, what is the meaning of outstanding? Um, sobresaliente. Sobresaliente, right, very good. Outstanding performance, very good. Another one? Uh, Romantic. Again. Romantic, what else? Talking. Talk. How do you spell how how do you spell talking or H U L K E Oh, so I. Uh -huh, I, I, sorry, I, N, and G. Hawking. What is the meaning uh -huh. of hawking? It's like a heavy. It's like heavy. Very good. It's like hawk, right? But the, the superhero, but it's heavy, right? Hawking. Hawking. Very good. So that's a new adjective. You see? Do you have any other or that's it? Eso sería todo? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we have good, tall, high, fat, short, weak, empty, sick, beautiful, boring, fascinating, huffy, terrified, terrifying, dangerous, expensive, nasty, amused, charming, cheerful, original, outstanding, romantic, and hawking. You see, we have a lot of adjectives to describe things, people, animals, places, different things, perfect. So we are going to share this information so all of you will have all of this and you will be able to um, learn it, okay? Practice it. Also with adjectives, we are, we are going to talk about adjectives because we are going to talk about participles as adjectives. As we were saying yesterday, we had different, like these two kinds of adjectives, right? Oh, Sandra Cecilia also wrote clumsy, aloof, and unsightly, right? Aloof. What is the meaning of aloof? A distancia, right? A distancia. Clumsy is like kind of como torpe, right? And unsightly, probably something that you cannot see very well. But that is another uh, another adjective, right? Unsightly, unsightly. Like unsightly is like ugly, right? Ugly, something like this, ugly. Very good, thank you, Sandra Cecilia. So we have participles uh, as adjectives. We have two uses of participles, verb and adjectives, right? Los participios pueden ser verbos o adjetivos. ¿Cuáles son los participios? Who, who knows what is a participle? For example, in this case, let's see. What is a participle of, uh, of these adjectives? Terrified or terrifying? What is a participle? A present participle. Uh, terrifying. Terrifying. Terrifying is a present participle. And a past participle is terrified. As Jaime said, right? Jaime said one is in past and another one is like in present, he said, right? But one is, is one is a past participle and another one is a present participle. That is the, the difference. Very good, Jaime. And we have a different adjectives. Adjectives, we use it to describe nouns. The white cat, uh, the movie was really exciting, right? Exciting and excited, right? Yesterday we were checking, we were checking that. Uh, differences, right? Exciting is a present participle or a past participle? What is exciting? Exciting is a present. It's present. a present participle. Very present. good. And the past participle is excited, right? Excited. Don't say excited. Excited? No. Excited with excited. an I, right? E. Excited. Emocionado. So exciting describes a noun. And excited describe, uh, describes a feeling of a noun. 
you can see this in the platform. Esto está en la plataforma, ¿verdad? For example, we have here interesting and interested. The museum is interesting. I am interested. Work is tiring. I tired. am tired, right? I tired. am tired. The movie is exciting. I am excited. So it's a present participle and past participle. And um, so in this case, that would that, that would be the, the main difference. One is describing a noun, and the other one is describing the feeling, how we feel. Questions about this? Preguntas? For example, we have to be careful with this. For example, boring and bored. What is the difference between boring and bored? Aburrido y aburrido in Spanish, right? But in English is bored and boring. What is the difference? It says the bored man went to sleep during the discussion. The boring man put other people to sleep during the discussion. What is the difference, the bored man and the boring man? Boring in present. A boring. <laughs> in, past, <laughs> in past, right? Yes, exactly. So one is a past participle and another one is a present participle. When I use bored man, bored, el hombre aburrido se fue a dormir, ¿verdad? Después de la discusión. So the bored man is, el hombre estaba aburrido, se sentía aburrido, right? He was feeling the boringness, so he was bored. But if I say the boring man is a person who probably is not feeling boring, but it, it makes you feel boring, like it makes you feel bored. Alguien que es aburrido es alguien que, que lo hace sentir a uno aburrido, ¿verdad? For example, the class can be boring at the class. Oh my God, this class is boring, but probably, uh, or the teacher is boring, right? The teacher is boring. But if I say the teacher is bored, I am bored, right? Probably everybody's having fun, is talking. I am bored, right? Pero eh, boring es eh, que lo hace sentir a uno aburrido. Alguien que es aburrido lo hace sentir a uno aburrido. So that is the difference, right? The feeling is eh, bored, but the description or how you describe is boring. As you can see here in the first sentence, the past participle bored is used to mean that the man himself was bored. In the second sentence, the present participle boring is used to mean that the man was boring to others. We are going to have some practice today. Vamos a practicar, si no tienen preguntas. This is in the platform also, I guess. So, um, This is the present participle. We have examples. For example, Stephen King's books are fascinating. This is present participle. Past participle, I am fascinated by Stephen King's books. Present participles, the last James Bond film was boring. Past participle, I was bored by the last James Bond film. Present participle, The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participle, I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. So we are going to complete these sentences and you will tell me if it is a present participle or a past participle because it can be both, right? In some, some adjectives, we can use both. So uh, for example, number one, Johnny Depp is a very amazed actor or amazing? Which one, present or past part? Amazing. 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 Sorry, I'm going to do it like this. Amazing, right? Amazing. Amazing, very good, perfect. So amazing is the correct one, very good. Number two, oh, this one is already here. I find animated films amusing. So this is the, the answer, right? Sorry, it was already there. Number three, interest. I'm not interested or I'm not interested in interested. science fiction movies. Sorry? Interested. Interested. Very good. Interested. Perfect. Four. Bore. 
I'm bored or I'm boring by watching television? Boring. Boring? Boring. Is this correct? Boring? Yes. No. Bored, right? Bored. I am bored. Yo me siento aburrido. I am bored by watching television. Excite. I thought Jurassic Park was an excited or exciting movie. I'm sorry, book. Exciting or excited? Exciting. <laughs> Exciting with ing, right? Exciting, perfect. I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting book. Next one, six, fascinate. I am fascinated or fascinating by fascinating. with ed, right? Or with ing? ing, ing, ing. fascinating with ed. With ED, right? Perfect. Fascinated. I am fascinated. Perfect. The last one, surprise. It's surprising or is surprise that horror movies are so popular? It is surprising. It's surprising. surprising. With, it's a present participle, right? Sorry. Surprising. Sorry. Surprising. It's surprising that horror movies are so popular. So present participles, they describe something and the past participles, they describe the feeling. Perfect. So the first one is amazing, amusing, interested, bored, exciting, fascinated, and surprising. So you have to be careful, okay? You have to be careful how you write the, the adjectives. You have to be uh, kind of careful. Now we're going to continue with a little bit more of information about this. Participles as adjectives. We are going to finish today with this topic. Vamos a terminar hoy con este tema. So we usually use the past participle ending in ed to talk about how someone feels. Los que terminan en ed son para describir cómo se siente alguien o cómo nos sentimos, el sentimiento. I was really bored during the flight. Not, I was really boring. She's interested in history. Not, she's really interested in history, right? John's frightened of spiders. Not John's frightening, okay? And we usually use the present participle ending in ing to talk about the person, thing, or situation which has caused the feeling. Lo que nos causa ese sentimiento para describir algo, entonces usamos el ing, ¿verdad? Los los present participles. It was such a long, boring flight. So I was bored. I read, uh, I read a really interesting book about history. I was interested in the book. Many people find spiders frightening. So they're frightened when they see spiders. You see, so that is the main difference. And here we have participles of adjectives. Aquí tienen Muchos ejemplos. You have a lot of examples here. Alarming, alarm, amusing, amuse. And you have examples also how to use it, right? Boring, bored, confusing, confused, depressing, depressed, embarrassing, embarrassed, exciting, excited, exhausting, exhausted, fascinating, fascinated, frightening, frightening, frustrating, frustrated, and interesting, interested. Uh, be careful with the pronunciation. Cuidado con la pronunciación también, ¿verdad? It's different alarming than alarm. Aquí no se dice alarmed o alarmed. Es alarmed. Okay, amused, bored, confused, depressed. Be careful with that pronunciation, please. And um, yes, I guess that's it. Uh, do you want to practice the pronunciation or is it's okay with you? ¿Quieren practicar la pronunciación de eso o está bien? You already? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. We are going to practice the pronunciation, but be, listen and then repeat, okay? Listen very carefully because when you are doing your presentation or doing like a uh, practicing a conversation, 
I don't want to listen to the same mistakes. No repitan los mismos errores, ¿verdad? Si ya aprendieron, traten de practicar para no repetirlo. So, for example, the first one is alarming. 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 Alarmed. Alarmed. Amusing. Amusing. Amused. Amused. Boring. Boring. Bored. 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 Confusing. 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 Confused. 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 Depressing. 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 Depressed. 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 Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Exciting. 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 Excited. Exhausting. Exhausting. Exhausted. Exhausted. Fascinating. Fascinating. Fascinated. Frightening. 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 Frustrating. Frustrating. Frustrated. Frustrated. Interesting. Interesting. Interested. Interested. Okay, very good. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Don't, don't make the same mistakes again. No vayan a hacer los mismos errores. Ya saben cómo se pronuncia. Try to practice. Okay, try to practice. We're going to keep on practicing, but with more um, exercises. For example, we have to choose, uh, help me to complete this, this uh, description below. This is like a, a paragraph about going to the movies, right? And this is a very bad um, experience. And we have to substitute or complete this paragraph with these words, amaze, annoy, confuse, disgust, embarrass, or shock. So it can be it can be a present participle or a past participle. Okay, it can be both. It can be amazed or amazing, right? Annoyed or annoying, confused, confusing, disgust, disgusting, embarrassed, embarrassing, shock, shocking. Do you have questions about any of those uh, those words? Preguntas de esas palabras? Um. What, what is annoy? What is? Annoy. Anno something that is irritating. Algo que lo enoja uno lo irrita. Annoy. That is annoy. Another one? Shock. Shock. Shock, for example, is something that it's like you're surprised, right? You're shocked by it. Como está impactado. I, sh I am shocked, right? Entro en shock. Aha, entro en shock. It sounds like that, exactly. You're in shock. Another one? Amaze. Amaze. Something like is amaze is something that is amazing. Amaze is asombrado or um, amaze is asombro, amazement, right? So asombrado Asom is amazed. Y algo asombroso is amazing, right? Okay. Another one. Disgust. What is the meaning of disgust? Disgusto. Algo disgustado. O algo de esa, ajá, desagradado, desagradable. So it can be disgusting or disgusted, right? You are disgusted because of something, right? Something that was disgusting. So embarrassed, okay. you already know, right? Embarazado is embarrassed, right? Yep. No, it's not embarazado. <laughs> what is what is embarazado? Embarazoso. Avergonzado, embarazoso. Yes, embarazado. No, embarrassed. Pregnant, right? Pregnant. So, <laughs> pregnant. So, embarrassed is embarazoso, avergonzado. So, we are going to read the story. This is a story about going to the movies. Somebody can, or any any of us can live this kind of. Um, this kind of situation, so we are going to read it, okay? It says, I had a terrible time at the movies. 
first ticket cost ten dollars i was really and then we need to use one of the words right no. by the price no. by mistake i gave the cashier a five dollar bill instead of a ten i was a little embarrassed how we have to use one right can be embarrassed or embarrassing right so then there was a trash all over the theater trash all over the theater the mess was and then we use one word right the people behind talked during the movie which was we use another word the story was hard to follow i always find thrillers too i like the special effects though they were amazing amazing or amazed right so we are going to complete it right now so help me to complete this paragraph okay we are going to read it again i had a terrible time mm -hmm. at the movies first ticket cost ten dollars i was really I was really embarrassed. I was really confused. I was really shocked. Confused. Confused? We can write confused if you want to. Confused or confusing? Confused. Confused. Okay, we are going to write confused. I'm going to write it here. By the price. Entonces, estaba confundido por el precio. By mistake. I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. I was a little embarrassed. Embarrassed or embarrassing? Embarrassed. Embarrassed, right? Embarrassed because it's describing how we feel, the feeling that we felt in that moment. Embarrassed, very good. Then there was a trash all over the theater. There was trash, a trash, no. There was trash all over the theater. The mess was, había basura en todo el cine. Disgust. Disgu disgusting or disgusted? Disgusted. 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 Disgusted like this? Yes or no? Disgusting. Disgusting, right? Because the mess was not feeling disgusted. El desorden no se sentía uh, disgustado, verdad? O asqueado. We felt disgusted. Everything was disgusting, right? The people behind talked during the movie, which was annoyed. Annoyed. Annoyed or annoying? Um. Annoying. annoying 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 right so that was annoying the noise was annoying the the, the action right i felt annoyed they that that, that was happening that, that was annoying the story was hard to follow i always find thrillers too thrillers too um we only have two right um, Solo nos quedan dos. Shock or amaze shock or amaze shock amaze. so it, it was going to be shocked or shocking shocking shocking, shocking. shocking right shocking it's shocking. describing something right very good i liked the special effects though they were amazing 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 very very good amazing you see Perfect, so confused. We can use here shock also in confused and also here uh, confusing, right? Also confusing, but it's okay. We are going to leave it like that. So you see, confused, embarrassed, disgusting, annoying, shocking, and amazing. That's why it's, it's, it's kind of difficult to identify if it is past participle or present participle, well, but we need practice. We need to practice, okay? That's why we are going to keep on practicing. Now we are going to continue with just a review. Esto solo es un review. I need you to help me reading, please, because I read a lot. Um, so I'm going to read the description because it's really small. The letter is really small. It says participles as adjectives. 
Use present participle adjectives, ing, to describe or give an opinion about situations, movies, books, TV shows, etc. Use part participle, past participles, ed, to express how you feel about situations, movies, books, TV shows, etc. So one is to give an opinion, and another one is to, descri to describe how we feel. Uh, let's see, um, Jaime, can you read the sentences, please? Puede leer las oraciones, the examples? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Yes, teacher. I think Game of Thrones is an amazing series. I read the book you told me, but I felt very bored. I'm interested in all in horror movies. Very good. I read the book you told me, but I felt very bored. I am interested in horror movies. Very good. Perfect. Let's see. Present and past participle adjectives. So these are the verbs. These are the verbs. Poor, tight. These are verbs. And these are the adjectives. Present participle adjectives and past participle adjectives. So you can uh, practice with this, right? This is just a review. Esto es solo un repaso, ¿verdad? So we already practiced the pronunciation. Ya practicamos la pronunciación. Vamos a ver, uh, let's see if someone can uh, pronounce correctly the next one. Let's see. Noé, are you there, Noé? Okay, now I want you to read the present participle and the past participle for satisfy. How do you pronounce this one? For satisfy. Satisfying. Satisfying, uh-huh. And the past participle, how do you pronounce it, Noe? Satisfying. Satisfy. Perfect. Satisfying. Satisfy. Let's see. Eric, are you there, Eric? Of course, teacher. Okay. Now I want you to uh, say like the, the next present participle for sh exhaust. What is the present participle for exhaust? How do you pronounce okay. it? Exhaust. The true form. Yeah, the present participle and the past participle. Ah, okay. Uh, exhausting mm -hmm. and exhaust. Exhausted. Ah, yeah, exhausted. Yeah. Exhausted, exactly. Very good. Let's see. Uh, Carla Merino, are you there, Carla? Yes, teacher. Okay, now uh, you are going to pronounce the present participle for embarrass and also the past participle, okay? How do you pronounce this one? Embarrassing, embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Very good, embarrassing, embarrassed. Very good, perfect. So you just need to practice, right? And you are going to, uh, pr the pronunciation will be better and better and better. And these are just uh, the past participles as adjectives. This is, the this is the present participle adjectives, opinions, right? We have subject plus verb to be, plus present participle adjective and complement. So if you follow this structure, you are going to write a lot of a, a lot of sentences, right? Your book sounds exciting, the food looks disgusting. Actually, this is not like a structure, but it's just like some examples, how, how do you, or how you can use this kind of adjectives. And also past participles, right, for feelings. The subject plus the verb to be plus past participle adjectives plus complement. I am excited or I feel disgusted, right? Another one is she gets depressed when she watches the movie Titanic and everybody was disappointed by the last episode of Game of Thrones. So um, these are the two ways that we can use past participles and present participles. Questions, preguntas? No questions? No okay. questions. No questions. Perfect. Now we are going to talk about synonyms. We have a lot of vocabulary. Uh, le, uh, les estoy dando bastante vocabulario because I want you to speak a lot. 
at the end of this week about movies because actually movies is a really interesting topic so we are going to keep on practicing on that on series if you like any kind of music also if you want to talk about that that would be that would be great so at the end of this uh, week on Thursday we are going to have um presentations right so synonyms what are synonyms que son sinonymous what who, who knows what is a synonym similar similar words similar words right similar meaning exactly for example awful horrible terrible and disgusting right so all of them are synonyms an example is cruella is a terrible person if we can say also it's an awful person it's a disgusting person sometimes yeah probably it depends and horrible person you are a horrible person so they are synonyms right another one is wonderful right wonderful fantastic incredible outstanding as you mm -hmm. mentioned before you we had a lot of adjectives like that and example is Dua Lipa is a wonderful singer it's a fantastic singer right it's incredible it's outstanding so they are synonyms right also we have stupid silly ridiculous and dumb. dumb they are kind of synonyms dumb exactly for example homer is a little silly right homer is a little silly we have strange odd weird, weird. bizarre so if you see one of these um words or adjectives they are synonyms the movie saw is really bizarre have you watched that movie yeah do you like that movie um i don't like this you don't like it. you didn't like it. why uh i i feel boring exactly i a lot of people they are fans of this this movie are because there are many movies right so one two three four five six seven <laughs> a lot of movies right but i i saw it first i i rented the movie long time ago and i watched it and i was like at the end right i i don't want i, I won't say any spoiler but it was like what <laughs> like I, I didn't understand like the the purpose of the movie i know that it's about uh revenge and a lot of things and and it was it, it was really bizarre it was really weird but yes it was for me it was kind of boring right but it was interesting it was interesting um i think that many people like it a lot of people like this kind of movie. And another other synonyms will be funny, amusing, hilarious, hysterical. Okay. Funny, amusing, hilarious, hysterical. For example, Jim Carrey's characters are funny, right? So we have a lot of characters there. What is the meaning of character? Do you know that? What is the meaning of character? ¿Cuál es el significado um, de character? Como personaje. Personaje, right? Personaje, very good. So if we're going to talk about the characters of a movie, we're going to talk about like the people who are, or the, the different characters, los personajes, right? De la película. Very good, perfect. We also have kinds of movies, right? We already studied this. So we have action movies like Fast and Furious 7. Have you watched that movie? Do you like that movie? Mm, yeah. Yes, right, yes. Who else like this kind of movie? Who likes action movie? I guess Walter yesterday was saying that, well, Walter, I guess is not here, but he was saying that he liked action movies and war movies. A comedy, we have comedy, animation, fantasy uh do you like harry potter movies or do you don't like this kind of movies i like harry potter movies you like you uh, like harry potter i love yes you love harry potter yes i i had a student i had a student that he said oh, i don't like harry potter i hate harry potter and i asked him why because it's not true it's not true what's happening is there is not true right but that's why it's called fantasy, right? It's fantasy, it's fantastic, right? <clears throat> we have biography yes. movies, we have biography, we have sci-fi, science fiction or sci-fi, 
thrillers, horror movies, drama, war, documentary, and musical. For example, let's see, um, Ana Maria. Are you there, Ana Maria? Can you talk right now? Or are you kind of? Hello? Okay, Ana Maria, what good is? Night. Good night, good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, what Thanks. is your your favorite kind of movie? Action, comedy, sci-fi, thriller, horror? My favorite movie are action. Action movie. What is your favorite movie of action? Or one good mm -hmm. movie that you have watched recently? Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. There are a lot of Fast and Furious, right? One, two, yes. three, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite? Eh, ¿Cómo digo todas? <laughs> all, all of them. All of them. Yes. All of them. Okay, very good. Perfect. Yes. Fast and Furious Thank is kind you. of fun, right? It's kind of fun. The, the special effects and the action scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, favorite. Uh, is donde actúa la roca, ¿cómo puedo decir? Your favorite no, character no sé. is where the rock, where the where, uh -huh. where the rock appears. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. So uh, you like the, the character of the rock, you like the rock? Yes, okay. I like it. <laughs> okay, Very good, perfect, perfect, very good. So Thank we you. have different kind of, um, kind of movies here, right? And different likes. So we are going to, just to review the vocabulary, I have uh, some uh, flashcards here. Flashcards are really good if you like to learn vocabulary. So we are going to check some of them. So for example, we have here a lot of vocabulary with movies. We have a-lister, right? An A-lister, what is an A-lister? Is the most famous stars, right? A-lister. A movie that makes us cry is a tear jerker, right? Tear jerker. A girly movie is a chick flick. Chick flick. Lots of blood and violence. What is that? It's a gory movie gory movie a lot of blood right we also have a uh, science fiction sci-fi we have romantic comedy or rom-com that is the the short word if we say rom-com is the same romantic comedy right for example a blockbuster is a film that has a big budget to be made and is expected to make a lot of money a film that no one watches is a flop so if some nobody watches a movie it's a flop right and low budget poor acting and poor effects is a b movie so it's like low budget movie an independent film or independently made film is an indie movie right indie movie for example rocky two three four five what is that is a sequel right sequels action movie it's an action movie also. It's an Sequel. action movie. Sequels. And a matinee is an afternoon performance for cinemas, right? Movie theaters. And a business person who makes a lot of money from films and industry is a Hollywood mogul. Hollywood mogul. And a film which may or may not be popular, but which a group of people really like after a long time, after it was released, is a cult movie, una película de culto, right? A cult movie. So those are some uh, words. Tomorrow we are going to check more information about movies. So let me see if we can practice with something right now. Okay. Now, tomorrow we are going to have another role play. Uh, vamos a tomar como como modelo esta esta cómo se llama conversation esta conversación vamos a tomar como modelo vamos a escucharla hoy hoy la vamos a escuchar estoy diciendo esto en inglés porque la vez pasada más o menos salió estoy diciendo esto en español por eso 
Entonces vamos a hacer un roleplay, vamos a escuchar la conversación y la vamos a practicar hoy. Pero mañana vamos a hacer grupos, parejas, ¿verdad? Porque son dos los que están hablando y vamos a cambiar información. Por ejemplo, aquí dice uh, X-Men, X-Men Movie, right? La película de los hombres de X. Entonces la podemos cambiar por otra película que a nosotros nos guste. Por ejemplo, Fast and Furious or Frida, or Malala, or Don't Breathe, any, right? So we are going to include our information. Vamos a incluir nuestra información. Pero el modelo va a ser este, okay? So we are going to listen to this conversation. Vamos a tomar de modelo esto, y mañana vamos a hacerlo, pero con nuestra información. In Paris, right? So we are going to listen to it right now. Just let me play it here. Let me know if you are able to listen to it. Dígame si la pueden escuchar. Unit 13. That's entertainment. Page 86. Exercise 2. Can you listen to it? Can you hear it? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay, so we are going to listen to it, okay? Conversation. I think they're boring. Part A. Listen and practice. It's so hot out. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Hmm, maybe. What do you want to see? How about an X-Men movie? I've heard that the early ones are really interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not interested in action movies. Actually, I think they're boring. What about that new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? I don't know. I'm always fascinated by his books, But I'm not in the mood for a horror movie. Well, what do you want to see? How about a Game of Thrones marathon? It's my favorite series ever. Okay. But only if you make us some popcorn. Okay, perfect. So what was the conversation about? ¿De qué se trató la conversación? What was the conversation about? Um, to watching movies? about watching movies, right? Uh, like two friends or a couple probably, they were trying to decide which movie to watch. And at the end, what happened? What movie are they going to watch? Um, the series of Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones marathon, right? Do you do that? Do you do marathons? Do you like that? Um can be um, a sequence of presentation to the every chapter. Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? Um, if if them can be um, the sequence, like the, the chapter is playing, <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, you're trying to say that is one chapter after one chapter, like you watch yeah. one chapter after another one. Yes. Yes, exactly. That's a marathon. That's a mar marathon. Also, uh, it's a new term that is called binge watch. Binge watching is like uh, doing a marathon of series. Binge watch. Mm. So, do you like that? Do you, do you do that? For example, in Netflix or HBO Max, do you watch series like that? ¿Ustedes ven series así en la marathon, binge watching? Mm. Do you like that? Yes, no? teacher. I yes. am. Yes. You Ana Maria, you do it. Yes, yes. Oh, what what series have you watched in a marathon mm. binge watching? Uh, narcotráfico. ¿Cómo se dice por decir? Narcos. Narcos. Yes. Narcos. That is a series, right? From Netflix, right? Netflix, yes. Yes, Narcos. You, you, so you like Narcos, Pablo yes. Escobar. Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you like Binge Watch, La Reina del Sur. Yes. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah. Como digo, sin senos no hay paraíso, y la the otra same. sin senos sí hay paraíso. <laughs> the same, sin senos no hay paraíso, sin senos. Yeah, in Spanish is the same, right? In Spanish is the same. Pablo Escobar, Pablo Escobar, sin senos no hay paraíso, the same. 
So oh, I, okay. I, I, I would like to do that, but I can't. I can I can watch one, two, or three at the most, three chapters. But I cannot watch a lot, like five or ten chapters. That's too much for me. But it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, uh, yes. so this is the conversation that we are going to do tomorrow. Okay, so we are going to practice it. Um, I'm going to pronounce the conversation and then you are going to repeat it, ok? Si hay alguna pregunta o alguna palabra que no entiendan, me la dicen, ok? Because tomorrow it will be your turn. Mañana va a ser su turno. For that reason, you are not going to have a homework today. So it says, uh, it's so hot out. Repeat, please. It's so hot out. It's so hot out. It's so hot out. It's so hot out. Hmm? Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Repeat, please. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Maybe. What do you want to see? Maybe. Maybe. What do you want, do you to, want, see? Do you want to see? How about a next man movie? I've heard that the early ones are really interesting. Uh, How about, about X-Men movie? movie? I've, I've heard, heard the early, early ones, ones are really interesting. interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not interested in action movies. Actually, I think they are boring. For you, for you maybe, maybe. I am not interested in action movies. Actually, I think they are boring. They are boring. What about that new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? What about, What about that new movie based, movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? Movies. I don't know. I'm always fascinated by his books, but I'm not in the mood. For a horror movie. I, I don't know. I don't know. I always I fascinate always by this book, but I am not in the mood for horror movies. Horror horror movie. movie. Well, what do you want to see? Well, well, well what, what do you want, you want to, to see? see? How about a Game of Thrones marathon? It's my favorite series ever. Oh, How about, about Game, Game of Thrones? It's my favorite series ever. ever. Okay, ever. but only if you make us some popcorn. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But only, only if you if make, make us okay. some popcorn. Which a teacher? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you were not able to listen to me. Very <laughs> good, very good. So practice was really good. Practice was really good. If you practice more, we, we are going to um, be better in their pronunciation. So that's why tomorrow we are going to practice. What are we going to do tomorrow with this um, conversation? ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana con la conversación? In group, please. Uh-huh. Um, one, one, e we will conversation similar for the information exactly so it will be similar so you are going to work for example Jaime will work with Noé for example in a group right and then mm -hmm. you will start saying okay we are going to practice a conversation but we are going to change the information okay for example hey Noé do you want to watch um Sincenos No Hay Paraíso oh uh, no it's boring for me it's boring Okay, what else? A horror movie. Oh, yes. And Jaime will say, okay, let's watch uh, Chucky or let's why, I don't know, right? Another movie. So it will be similar, but you will change the information, okay? Van a cambiar la información. That will be tomorrow. And please try to use the information that we studied today. What did we study today? ¿Qué estudiamos hoy? Traten de usar eso. We studied this one, right? The present participles and past participles. You can use a lot of adjectives because you know, right? It's amusing, it's boring, I, it's depressing. I feel exciting to watch this movie. Try to use that, right? And try to use also synonyms, right? Strange, bizarre, 
uh, wonderful, fantastic. So try to use that, but try to use it with this with this um, conversation, okay? The same thing, right? You decide which movie to watch, and then you uh, at the end, you will watch a series or another movie, okay? Questions okay. about the conversation okay. or questions about tomorrow's uh, activity? Preguntas? No. 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 Okay, so I wish you to have a very good night. Take care. Thank you for being here and your hard work. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? okay. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.